she's always been wild. She always will be wild. Um, she's just Corey Chainsaw. Gotta follow her channel. We're gonna watch one of her videos right now. And by the way, if you're just joining us, make sure you hit the fucking like button. Um, but we're gonna watch one of her videos. Someone sent it to me and told me that I have to watch it. I'm not sure what it's truly about. Well, I must know what it's about now. You watched it? Oh, you're talking about something else. My bad. I have not seen it. I'm gonna watch it. So, what am I gonna do? I'm eating wheat thins now. Because I still, that cheese, there's a lot of cheese left in here, but it's very sharp and I need crackers with it. This is how I eat. Leave me alone. Hit the like button, motherfucks. Please. It's free. It's free. And because you love me. Or you hate me. Whichever. Hit it. Who, what is it? So, it's this chick. Her name's Corey motherfucking Chainsaw. That's her name. And she always gives commentary on things. She watches everything around in the a low budget community. Well, anyway, she did um, a video today, and a few people have sent it to me and said I need to watch it. So here we go. We're going to watch it together. drama star well first and foremost what I'm gonna do mmm wheat thins are good I need to get like just a box of wheat thins this is how we're gonna do it. This is low budget shit. I don't know what it's about. We're about to see. Nah, we want it this way. Look. Well, I wanna be fucking comfortable too, shit. Here we go. What the fuck? I didn't leave it here. Who is Yura Dashevsky? Don't do pick shit for me, YouTube. You do enough damage. Oh, she looks disgusted. <laughs> oh, guess what, Shannon? Guess what, Shannon? Guess what, Shannon? I'm disgusted from the bullshit that came out of your mouth when Mary died. So now you're going to go on and on and on like you did with Barbara? Trying to pick fights with everybody, thinking that you're gonna get in the last word on Kit Kat, the crackhead. That's not oh. gonna happen, sweetheart. Oh my god. It just isn't. Okay? Because okay. you fucking drug Mary. Now, you didn't get a response. Yes. But every time I say anything, you guys have to respond, right? Because you hate me. You have to go over everybody. You gotta go after Donise, who has cancer, and then some. You have to go after little Roger Bunny. You have to go after anybody seen in my chat. And I have told everybody, don't you dare come in my chat because you will be targeted because I called out the drama community and they are known to be a bunch of fat, fucking ugly, heathen bullies. <laughs> okay? That's what <coughs> oh That's my what God. Oh okay. God. Okay? Also clowns. You owe St. Jude money, and you're crying about Kit Kat, who's totally fine with scamming St. Children because she's a fucktard. And I can say that because Kit Kat did. Okay? First of all, I am dead right now. She gives absolutely no fucks. I hope you guys can hear this because I can hear it clear as day, and oh my god. <laughs> so, if you don't know, I'll give you a little recap. Kit Kat 
used to be one of my mods. Okay, she's my like mods for years, and then we were all friends. Whatever that was back in the day when like Diane, me, Randy were cool. Well, then I figured out a lot of other shit happened. I said some fucked up shit, whatever, when I was like drunk and whatever, you know. And I admit, at times I must have been out of line. I don't fucking say I must because I don't fucking remember that shit, dude. I was fucking drunk all the time. I don't remember half the fuck. Kate, Katie, when she's drunk, is a fucking liar. All right, I've said it for years. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm literally talking out my ass. I have no idea. You ask me about it the next day, I don't know. Like, don't ask me. Take it up with drunk Katie because sober Katie don't know. Anyways, so. You know, everybody, and then there's people who've been around for years too, and Cha Corey Chainsaw's been around for years. She's a pain in the ass at times. She's an absolute fucking menace. I love her. Tells it like it fucking is. People can't stand that. Oh no. People can't fucking handle that in the low budget community. I don't know. Drama community, whatever the hell you want to call it. Today it's this, tomorrow it's something else. Who knows? So anyways, Kit Kat was one of my mods. She was cool for a while, and then I got drunk, said some horrible shit. I can't even remember. I don't even think I said any horrible shit to her. I may have. If I did, sorry. And I believe I've said sorry. Um, and she hooked up with this other chick named Ziggy. Ziggy's all right. That's the thing. Ziggy was always all right, but Ziggy's a follower, and she's a follower, and she chose her leader to be Kit Kat, which is fine. Whatever. They all got to have a leader, but... And didn't help do her any favors. You know what I'm saying? So anyways. They got close. Whatever. Kit Kat's recovering crackhead. Something like it. She was open about it. And uh, she ended up taking the no good motherfucker's side. Those scamming. Mm-hmm. The scammers. You know who I'm talking about. Lyanna. Stinky butt. Anyways. So she took their side. And, like, started saying horrible fucking shit to me. And I was just kind of like, fuck you, too, you know? Fuck me, fuck you. So we fell out. Whatever. Haven't been friends. She sat back and said terrible shit. Okay? What am I supposed to fucking do? Am I supposed to be cool with people who fucking talk shit about me? Fucking are cool and friends with people who, uh... Scam children, St. Jude, sick children. All right, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to be okay with that? No, hell no. Go away, Jenny Jin Jin. Go stalk Randy some more. She can tell us about it later. Anyways. Jenny Jin Jin's been around for a while. Like we don't already know that, Jenny Jin Jin? Tell us something we don't know. We'll wait. Let her talk, PDQ. Let her talk. Happy girls ain't hating and hating girls ain't happy. We got an angry one here, everybody. Check her out. See what happens. See what happens when truth gets spoken? Con supporters come out of the fucking woodwork. Anyways, here we go. So basically, she's just ripping ass on that. Listen up. Play, bitch. She was shit about her own grandson. As long as she was busy dragging someone, she was happy. Hey, same with you, Shannon. Wipe that frown off your big fucking mug and uh, be happy. You're going to drag someone because your friend died. Hey, Lacey. Like you drug my friend. <laughs> I warned you. I warned you. Keep it fucking up, bitches. 
the second one of you die, you're going to get it right back. <laughs> oh, I warned no. you. Oh, and no. you all cried before I even said a word. Oh, my God, they're going to say so many horrible things. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything horrible. I'm telling the truth about you all. That's what I do. And somehow that's offensive to you. You like to strike me and say this and that and the other thing about me and da 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 because I speak nothing but the truth on you. Well, you all lie about people and attack people and get all your little gang stalkers to go after one person and do just the most horrendous shit I've ever seen a grown group of people do in my life. Most of who are mothers raising children. That's very, very scary to me. <laughs> very scary, Shannon. Very, very scary. Very scary, Savage. It's very scary that Savage said your 13-year-old was free game because she thought you were some troll that called CPS on her. She still doesn't even know who that is and stands by the fact that it was Katie. Still doesn't know for sure. Right? Agree. How do you go around making false accusations when you can't prove them? How do you go around calling someone a crackhead regularly who nicely says, please don't call me a crackhead just because I asked you to be nice to Rebecca? Hmm. Fucking Rebecca. Remember her no, mama bear Rebecca? That one wasn't Rebecca. Uni. Reiki cat. Reiki cat. Reiki cat. Yeah, Corey, I don't believe she was raped. And she's over there fake crying too, saying that Kit Kat was the greatest person on earth. You know why she thinks that? Because Uni lied about being raped. And Kit Kat stopped caring because she decided she hated me more. Yeah, she really cared about her own rape even. Oh, I don't know nothing about that. That's what you're going to talk about here. Right, Shannon? I hope you're doing well. I don't have any makeup on. I'm probably going to frighten people, but... Oh, you look better than you usually do. Is that the makeup? <laughs> yeah, makeup doesn't help you, sweets. You're not pretty. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, <it's, laughs> yeah. Dude, she's a human. Watch all the pros. <laughs> That's what I call stuff. So, you watch Randy. There was not a many places you could go. You could either went to the porch or you went to Katie's. Uh, Randy and, and you could go to Shan Man's and listen to her trash the fuck out of Rebecca or trash the fuck out of Tammy. That was fun. Or you could be one of the 10 people who went and watched her talk about some TV show. Uh, B were there, you know, um... B? B the drug dealer? <laughs> B that passed around drugs to literally everybody in the fucking entire community and that's why you guys are all such good buddies? Yeah, I know. Uh, but uh, I met Kit Kat and I met Ziggy. Hey, um... I mean, he can. I made mean, Ziggy, and I drug the fuck out of them, and drug 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 them, and then they decided they didn't like Kitty anymore, and then they were my friends. Oh my God! I hated Savage too, and I drug her, and 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 then I decided I like Savage now, because Barbara died, and she said sorry, despite however the fuck her dad would feel. And then she continued on being a total fucking cunt bitch. Doesn't care about children with cancer. Same with you, right? Barbara died. You continued on being a total fucking cunt bitch. Never cared about children with cancer. You got upset for what, five minutes? And then Randy told you not to be. So you were like, okay. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's because if one of you would have actually called her out, being Katie or Sam or Shannon or Mallory or all these people that called her out in the first place, who simply had to say, Diane, please post those receipts, you promised. None of you did. And then when I started asking, none of you asked for receipts. In fact, you gave her five more dollars savage to tell her no no you don't have to show the receipts like you are the be all end all of the fucking community why do you all think that why 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 because people give you money <laughs> yeah that's i'm loving work. this see because diane wendy and randy scan st jude and now you guys all mean nothing your fucking voices mean nothing and anybody who stood by their side absolutely means nothing to the rest of us and there's a lot of the rest of us okay it's not just one little tiny group of fucking bitches dumb fucks jamie and nancy and zooter 
You get that Kit Kat went and burned all her bridges everywhere else and you're the only fucked hearts that uh, accept her. Accepted. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, if you, you can call it out. Next time one of my friends die, you try that. Shannon, you just go ahead and try. Same with you, Wendum. How are you? I met Kit Kat Ziggy. And then Uni gave me that. Uni did. Okay? Uni probably is the one who gave it to Witty, too. Uni did. Not I don't know what the fuck she's talking about here. Uni no did. Idea. Uni, 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 uni. Because uni lied about being raped and you guys all drug her for that. Remember? And I said. Why is it a thing? Like, too, on YouTube for people to fucking lie right. about that kind How of shit? How the fuck dare you do something like that? It's, and then when I found That ruins that people's fucking raped, lives. I don't understand like, it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fucking gross. Really? Good question, gross. Lena Neal. I'm not sure. Dragging someone for being raped. Now, Uni, I would suggest that since everyone wants to keep talking about this, you get your fucking shit together and prove that you were raped so that, you know, you can be the good guy and I'll still be, you know, the bad guy. But at this point, you're just going to have to prove it, honey, because they're going to keep wanting to talk about it. And without the proof, I mean, you started a whole lot How of How in the fuck would you prove that anyways? Bullshit about a whole lot of people, including yourself and all your cysts. Right, Lisa? Or death. They were the, they were the tag team go vibes, Ziggy would say. And y'all go back and watch them. Do y'all hear how she talks to me? <laughs> y'all hear what she said? Doesn't matter if she stayed the whole thing, she showed up every single time. That's because she had no life. She had wasted God. her fucking Corey. life. <laughs> wasted her fucking life. She wasted her fucking life being full of hate not love hate you don't get people like that you she wasn't even here defending herself no one ever did anything to her first time i ever met kit kat she called me a fucking cunt okay she didn't even fucking know me from a hole in the ground she called me a cunt you fucking cunt of youtube I don't get support like it's hard oh, i mean oh lord have mercy how many pills did you take for this video, Shannon? I told you, Corey's brutal, man. It ain't fair. But it is what it is. You know, I didn't use Mary against anybody but her own husband. And in retaliation, he acted just like the lot of you. Because he never understood Mary's point of view. Okay? See, I don't know who Mary is. I don't know who we're Maybe talking about here. But she changed. So what I'm gathering is these you motherfucks, know, how everybody changed, this motherfuck, drug Corey's friend recruited. Mary when she died. You're evil. And all the so now Corey's dragon Kit the Kat, her, her friend. Now shoot. she's died. All of you can just go. We, the rest of us don't want you here. Okay? Just go away. Stop talking about anybody that isn't in your chats. Because we're sick and fucking tired of you. She's done. Yeah, hell, I mean... God, you're hideous. I just needed to get it out to the tomorrow. You look like, um, no offense, but you look like Beck. But like 50 years on ya. Right? That's, that's what you look like. Sorry, Beck. Oh, I remember Midwestern, Mary. Okay, okay. I'm on, I'm on the does. same page. It's going to be okay. all about, you know... I mean, mine is the makeup and the hair and the making an effort to look half decent she kind of looks like that but like it is really grotesque way and i can say that because she drags the fuck out of everybody everybody right i have mental health problems i'm bipolar so i'm gonna go around drag everybody who has mental health problems because that makes me sane <laughs> fuck losers clowns of youtube um, on this platform who the cunts of YouTube are the clowns of YouTube don't deserve to breathe the same air as us no you sure as fuck do not <laughs> okay. I don't want to breathe your air 
Your air is fucking putrid and rotten to the fucking core. <laughs> Your air is black as sin. Bitch. <laughs> Jesus Took Christ. Up that her her. S-A, S-A, I call Beck cat it was, shit. It was a rape. Uni did that because you guys. I call Beck. Uh, I've called Beck cat shit for years because Beck was like, first of all, that's the biggest fucking li- Australian or not. I don't care. She's the biggest, one of the biggest liars I've ever met in my life. This motherfucker one time was live on a live stream with me and told me she was like set, setting off and setting in the fucking air. Uh, red eye in it to God knows where, and, and motherfucker was sitting at home. But anyways, the reason I call her cat shit, okay, follow me. She was sitting live on her live stream, and in the background, you see cat shit. You see cat shit on the floor. You see, she was filthy. Another filthy motherfucker on YouTube. And these people have no shame, by the way. No shame. You know, if you have, like, the camera on or just anything, or if someone's coming over, don't you straighten up your house a little bit? Don't you, like, fucking, you know, make sure the t- the table's wiped down, the floors are swept? These kind of people don't. Okay? Because they don't give a fuck. This is how they live, and they expect you to... It, this is my favorite. When people are fucking disgusting as fuck, they're like... If you don't like me, then don't be my friend. If you if you think there's something wrong with me, then don't. This is who I am. This is who I'm going to be. Da, 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 that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You know you've heard them say that. Like, they try to fucking defend their filthiness. They're like, if you don't like me or whatever they have to say. I'm basically just saying that you're the fucking problem. Because you don't like them. Like, you're being judgmental or something. No, motherfucker. You're just nasty. That's it. So, anyways, Beck had cat shit everywhere. That day forward, she was known as cat shit to me. She will lie about anything. That damn Beck. What was her friend's name? The other crazy motherfucker? The one that used to, like, uh, get dressed up. Like, she was the biggest catfish in the world. But she wasn't, like, a catfish like you guys would think a catfish. Like, you know, she was out there trying to be someone. She was was just her. But when she put on makeup, she looked like a totally different fucking person. Can't remember her name. But anyway, sorry. Deflecting. Here we go drug uni for being raped you were you there okay someone needs to get me the stream right uber remember when you got up on panel with diane and me and said fuck you i'm never getting you that stream little rosie come down and haunt her now get the stream bitch i want to know who all <laughs> did you say little her? rosie come down and haunt her I know holly was i know lisa was i know fucking Sergeant uh, Peppers, that was her name. Was. I know um, a lot of people were in that chat. A lot of people, a lot of people, and I want to know each and every fucking single person that was in it. Okay. I didn't drag uni for being raped. Like, let's look. Let's go see what Kit Kat had to say to me, shall we? Shall we, Shannon? Shall we? Let's listen to some more fucking bullshit. Oh, Obi, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're not right. That's a good one, though. Second. That's second. Um, hey, loser. Um, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, I think this might be it. She's such a great and wonderful, kind, loving soul. Was she right? The only reason you be like shit is because nobody over here stands up for her because she's a liar. And here, Corey, you want to hear it? I do not believe Muni got raped. How about that? Did you hear it? You are. Oh, I heard a bitch. Okay, crackhead. (laughs) <laughs> oh, and I didn't say that because you're not a kind, fucking loving, wonderful person, dead or not. Okay? Now, again, my friend Mary actually changed. You need to not change. You need to lies about people and attacks people and fucking goes behind the scenes and does evil, evil shit. And she used to do it to you. And now you know for a fact that she's doing it to us. Okay? You want her? Have her. None of us are taking her back. Right, Uni? You're with that black sin, 
guy. Now let's go back to this fucking psycho. Oh my god, Kit Kat got raped and you need used it to prove that Kit Kat's a piece of shit. But, but I got, that was been, listen, that, you could try that and somebody get rid of them because I can't. You could try that if you like. Huh. It was. Emery's not trolling you. Yeah. Emery never was trolling you. Okay. Okay. You guys have a great night. Oh, not me either. Found it. I think my grandmother's a genius. I have to write some of these down. But anyway. Holy fuck, slur a lot. What the fuck? Huh? To the moon and stars, zig zag ziggy, it's Randy's life. We have fleeting moments of entrenched souls that come within to grace our life. The fuck is Often this? We come from the strangest of places amongst our worst strifes. It's so hard to put down a barrier and open your heart, never knowing if they are going to say or part. Life is not about having and living in a bubble. Hoping to sway and bob to survive the rubble, life is often about taking wow. a chance, bending in a death. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Barf. Uh, let's see. Okay, Hoover passes around CP. Mama Ricky for life passes around CP. Manic Mandy passes around CP. Um, this Maleficent bitch passes around CP. Baby. All right, guys. So, what the fuck do you think about all that? That was uh interesting. I'm telling you, Corey's fucking. Listen, she's fucking brutal, dude. Like, and she's right about a lot of fucking things. Like, some people in life, if they were like shitheads in life, are you supposed to forget all that after death and be like, well, they're, you know, they died, so let's just. You know, we forget all the shithead shit they did, and... Oh my god, I saw the funniest video the other day. I wonder, where was it at? Where was it at? Oh my god, I can't, I can't remember what I'm gonna play. It was like, oh, when I find it, I'm gonna play it and it'll be totally relevant. Right now, it's not. But anyways, so... You know, it, it is who it is. And people are going to have their opinions, about, uh, different opinions about everybody, okay? And people, and people fucking die. That's what we do. It sucks. Nobody wants to die. Some people do, I guess. But the majority of us do not. But that's life. Right? And that's Bobo's. But we news. Mm -mm -mm. But it's Drama's over there, too. Just walking by now. Drama to end. Good night, Salsa. She does speak her mind. You gotta respect the passion. What do you guys think about it? Nobody's talking. I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired. I wanted to watch that, though. Yes. He's ready to go to bed. There I am. You just zoom out. Is it zoomed in? No, I'm just fat. Fat looking. Look my baby sitting behind me. So, I don't know. Corey always speaks her mind. She always says what she thinks. And a lot of times I fucking agree with her, okay? Because there's a lot of bullshit that goes on in this community. And, you know, people can do horrible fucking things. But a lot of people fake their death. I'm not saying that Kit Kat did by any means. I'm just saying a lot of people will fake their fucking death to escape scrutiny or whatever the hell they're going to go through in this community. Community scary. Yeah, I didn't uh, really watch Kick Out or Mary. 
So I really don't know what all went on. All I can say is that Corey was on one tonight and she spoke her mind. Corey has a great rack. I've never seen it. Never seen her. I have no idea what she looks like. Yeah, we're all going to die someday. And do you believe that, like, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go? You know what I mean? When people, sorry, flipped over. Ah! When people say that. That's what I was always thinking, you know, when I was on the back of the bike. In shorts and a tank top, flip-flops, not giving a fuck. Because if it's, you know what, if I die on this, wearing this, then it was my time to go. Can't stop that. Are you scared of dying? This is a serious question. If you think I'm talking to you, yes I am. What? A Christmas tree. I have no Christmas tree. Um, are you scared of dying? Oh, you mean this one? I just haven't taken the white lights because I think it looks kind of nice. I'm scared of dying. I don't want to die. You're scared of dying. Yes. I'd say that's safe to say. I wouldn't want to. There's lots of shit I want to do. So, now that we got that question... Which some of you didn't answer, I noticed. I need rest. So do you think it's curtains? Black screen? You just die and you don't remember anything? Or do you think you go to heaven or hell? Which is it? Or wherever. What do you think? Where do we go when we die? What's, what happens after we die? I need to know. None of us fucking know that shit. That's the thing. And don't you think if ghosts were real and like our loved ones really loved us, they would find a way to come back to this world to tell us, hey, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's something to think about. Fucking eye. There's something in my eye. Something to think about, man. I don't know. I just believe that if spooks and all that shit were real, then one of them would have made their way back into this universe. Like, as many times as people supposedly see ghosts and hear ghosts and shit, none of them sending you a message. And I'm not talking about through a fucking 1950s fucking radio full of white noise and everything else. You know what I mean? That always kills me. Like, huff. Hmm. I just feel like, yeah, Huff is definitely a scam. I feel like we would know. We'd have, like, solid evidence. I just do. Do you believe, like, what? No. I don't believe in that either. I think once you're gone, you're gone. No one's around. And I think that people find comfort in saying, Oh, I can feel her here, or him here, after they die and shit. But I don't believe any of that. I really don't. I don't know. Set me up better luck than others. Alright guys, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna go to bed.
Talk to you later. Love you, mean it. Don't you ever die. Love you, mean it. Ciao. Bye.